The team that has the fewest potential downfalls in the National League East is the Washington Nationals. There are not a whole lot of ifs with this team. The Nationals won 97 games last season and won the National League East by 20 games, ironically over the Marlins, who traded away their four best players in a fire sale. There doesn't really appear to be a challenger to the Nationals, so the only things left to figure out about their regular season are whether or not they go over their win total and if they have home field advantage in the National League Division Series. The Nationals were as good as advertised last season with a 96-66 Pythagorean win-loss record and a 96-66 record per base runs. Using that context-neutral standings metric, their season run differential would have been plus 143 instead of plus 147. This is a very solid team with very few weaknesses. Just about everybody of consequence from last season is back in the mix this season. The National League East still looks like a division in which the other four teams will struggle to get to 500 or better, so it should be pretty cut and dry. But the Nationals do have a high season win total as a result. The margin for error is quite small with such a high season win total because it requires a remarkable level of consistency over a full six months and 162 games. It requires a healthy team and things to go according to plan. But even if things don't, the Nationals should still win the East. The Nationals really just shuffled the deck in terms of depth over the winter. They didn't make any significant signings or transactions that would move the needle one way or another. All in all, it was a pretty quiet offseason. Depth is a good thing, and the Nationals have a lot of guys with Major League Baseball experience in their minor league system now that they can call up at a moment's notice. The Nationals easily have the fewest question marks in the National League East. There are a couple of teams that had lousy seasons in the division that should do better this year. But Washington is still the best team here by a pretty fair margin and has played extremely well within the division in recent years. David Martinez was a good hire and should have better opinions on lineup construction and as a Joe Madden discipline, should have some more informed takes on when to deploy relievers. Players seem to like Dusty Baker as a person, but most baseball scribes and pundits aren't on board with his skills as a tactician. Our guess here is that David Martinez is a comfortable upgrade, but it certainly isn't a negative, and this team won 96 games last year. The rest of the division is gradually closing the gap, but the Nationals are an excellent team that could be even better with more luck on the health front. The Nationals have depth in case injuries pop up again, but this is a team with a very high floor and a pretty high ceiling. Our pick and prediction will be for the over 92 and a half wins. For more information and statistics on this event and every other sporting event this week, check out bangthebook.com. Bang the Book is your best resource for sports betting information before you make your weekly assault on the sports books.